begin to play this line ask the Lord for something ask him for something Oh, baby. 
for your very life, and we thank God for it. The year 2024 has been prophetically declared my year of signs and wonders, Isaiah 8 and 18. Everybody in your house ought to know Isaiah 8 and 18 by now. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God praise. The month of April has been prophetically captured. God's blessing is up on my life. Hallelujah. Who can say I will come on and get that morning glory to set your day? Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Testimonies. You can share your testimonies by filling out a testimony form. You can also send your testimony at to usawinningfaith at gmail.com. Everyone who wants to share a testimony is mandated to fill out a testimony form. Bless your name, God. Members of uh, Thanksgiving and baby dedications, anyone who wants to appreciate God in Thanksgiving can do so on the first and last Sunday of every month. Our baby dedications will be held every first Sunday of the month only. Please contact Sister Gray for doing this great work in the earth realm and to support or partner with Ken David Orphanage and Widows Empowerment Center, please use 214-718-1251 for cash app or Zelle. USA Wells Fargo account for direct deposit, 852-356-044. Use routing number 111-900-659. Nigeria account, First Bank, 204-299-7005. It's ten testimony time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So these are the people giving testimonies today. Uh, Joel and Gift, Brother Joel and Sister Gift. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the next person will be Sister Angela Jones. As you hear your name, please come on up. Praise the Lord.
set free and delivered from the mouth of the prophet said. And Jesus said, my case is different. I don't have to go to the emergency room. I can stand on that word. I can take that word daily in my mouth. I can say by your stripes. That's Jesus' stripes. How you going to say that? Hey, my, my, my manager, my new manager, the old manager that's gone that would look at me crazy when I was trying to be nice and try to help him. I, he didn't receive that. But guess what? God received me because I'm his daughter. And he taught me how to stand in a, in a midst of persecution. When you know folk don't like you, it don't matter. I, I belong to the CEO of the universe. Hallelujah. And he will make a way for you. So just be on these jobs and things. We have to know that these people, I don't know, know Jesus. Hallelujah. And we can't be mad because the devil's folk do what the devil's folk do. Oh, Jesus. Father, we thank you for all you are doing. And we thank you for the more that you will do. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Somebody holler hallelujah. Somebody shout it loud. I'm going somewhere. Say it like you believe it. My God is taking me somewhere. High five your neighbor. Say neighbor. This year 2024 is my year of signs and wonders. If you believe it, say loud amen. Turn around to somebody next to you and tell them about you look good. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. We are not taking this for granted. We appreciate to Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we give God thanks. In appreciation, let us acknowledge our assistant pastor and his family. Pastor Damian Nabako. Hallelujah. You have been a blessing to this ministry. My God, keep blessing you, sir. Thank you for your wife, for allowing you to serve God. Amen. Let's thank God for our pastors and the ministers. Bishop Chris is here. Amen. Thank God for yourself. Thank God for yourself. Thank God for yourself. Come. <laughs> I don't prophesy anyhow. The hand of God is upon me. You know, I've not spoken to you for over three, four months. But as the Lord liveth, come, come, climb this altar. If I be a man of God, your testimony concerning your marital breakthrough is not far no more. I call you covenant keeping God. Destiny change. Miracle walker. Jehovah. We give God thanks for Johnny Mercy from the day this ministry started up until now. Our members have been traveling every week, every month, every year. They go, they come back. So prepare yourself. Very soon we're going to start giving and giving. If you know you're going to be part of them that will give, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, even if you don't shout, you are going to. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm believing God that this year anniversary will be our last anniversary in this church. Amen. I mean in this building. Praise God. Hallelujah. Only few people said amen. amen. Hallelujah. And by the help of God, my spiritual mother, prophetess, came. I'm believing God should be here in November in this ministry. Amen. Praise God. Orphanage is not just an institution. Orphanage is a plantation. What is orphanage? It's a plantation. When you plant in the orphanage, expect fruits to come out. For he that considered the poor, the Lord shall save him when trouble visit him. He that considered the poor. So orphanage is not just an, uh, that's Psalm 41 verse 1, right? Uh -huh. He said, he that considered the poor. So I will stay longer than 14 days again. Amen. So I know you don't miss me anyway, so even if I stay six months, so that's okay. Amen. Praise God. And uh, please, I'll be here Wednesday. I'll be here on Sunday. Then the first, second, and third of every month, which is our prayer section, I'll be here. For every other day, you are on your own. You are calling me is practically a waste of time. Because I found out that one of my greatest enemies now is phone call. Because people are calling and calling and calling. 
And if I answer the phone the way it's coming, God will answer me. Amen. The clarity of destination in life lies on direction. This is the scripture that I've been driving us from January 1st. I'd like you to make this personal. Say, behold, I and the children whom the Lord God will give you. What happened? Some people are still looking at it. This is not French. Say it again. Behold. Go ahead. It's allowed. And Esther took three days to package herself. Three days. Not three hours. Three days. A young lady. A maid. An immigrant. A slave. Packaged herself. Those who didn't take time to package themselves. King ignored them and looked at the one that packaged herself well and say, come what do you want up to the half high five your neighbor, say neighbor, neighbor. overtake him, overtake go ahead I want you to take your seat get your bible get your pen and we shall hear the word of God we are going to be closing early amen this ministry is a word based ministry. We are a prophet. If you build your life on prophecy, you will end up in fantasy. But if you build your life on the wall for heaven and death, what will happen? Shall pass away, including prophecy. But the word of God shall stand forever. I say heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of the Lord shall stand for everybody. We have time to mock you. Because God's word, God's word, not pastor's word. God's word is the only thing I have tested and proven that witches cannot play with. We went somewhere, me and my wife, and then I saw how people are gravitated towards prophetic grace. One more time, say this month, God's blessing is upon my wife, my life. Amen. Yes, it's upon my wife. So, amen. Men say it's also upon my wife. All men say the blessing of God is upon my wife. Pray for your wife now. Amen. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 22, our anchor scripture. We're going to have a wonderful month, this month of April. Because the Lord has taken away my reproach. Ah, 22, Proverbs 10, 22. Somebody said the blessing of the Lord. What does he do? And what else? Please pay attention. It is not the blessing of the man that make it rich. It is not the blessing of your job that makes it rich. What is it that makes rich? Hmm. So there is a place for you to say that somebody is rich. God forbid, and you get into an accident and die in that car. Is that a blessing? It's not from God. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and does not add Sorrow to eat. Somebody say pastor. pastor. Not true. You didn't say, say pastor. pastor. Say not true. not true. If it is God that has blessed you, you cannot see sorrow attached. So I am so rich. Look at the way you are talking. Don't talk like poor person. Say this year 2024. God has blessed me. From God's blessing upon my life, I am what? Some people are catching it. I take you back to the exam room. The blessings of the Lord. It makes people to become what? Rich. What has follows God's blessing? Occasion of sorrow over them. Even in your business, it will not see sorrow this year in the name of Jesus. For the blessing of the Lord make it. He make, now, you are not rich, but God has blessed you. Now, that blessing will now make you 
So when I tell you people in the beginning of this ministry that I'm going to be very rich, a lot of people had problem with me. First of all, they said I'm arrogant. Before they said I'm a prosperity preacher. And I prove it to you. The few rich people I have met, the few ones, in their midst, you won't see gossip. In their midst, you won't see discord. You won't see hatred. You won't see competition. You won't see jealousy. In their midst, if you hear what they talk about, but come and see people who are here to finish paying their car loads. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So, pastor, what must I do for God to bless me? Amen. Are you ready? Number one. For you to encounter God's blessing, you must pay the price of stewardship. Stewardship. What do I mean by stewardship? Service to. You can't serve God genuinely and God not bless you. How does God bless through stewardship? A very popular scripture here. Exodus 23 and verse 24 to 27. We are going to read it together. Number one. One, two, three, go. Let's go. Thou shall what? Serve. No, Exodus 23 verse 25, sorry. 23 verse 25 to 27. Uh -huh. Verse 25, he says what? And uh, you shall what? Go ahead, read. What is verse 27 saying? To do what? Please pay attention to these three scriptures. Exodus 23 verse 25 verse 26 and verse 27. You shall serve the Lord your God. Then God will bless you. God will bless you. But serve. Do not come. But when sickness come, because you serve him, you run to him and say, God, if I serve you, this sickness that has come, take it. Somebody say amen. Yeah. One of the greatest prayers for divine healing. So, it's not coming to church. You are to church. Are you serving the Lord? Now, if you look at verse 26, Exodus 26, it says, three, he said, in our land, no woman will have miscarriage or be without children. Now, and I will give you short life. Can I hear you say in the name of Jesus? I will live long. Now, these are not confession. These are not prayer. This is operating by God's kingdom principle. God, I'm serving you. You will bless me. God, I'm serving you. You will bless my bread. What else will he do? He will bless my water. What else will he do? When sickness comes, he will take it away. What else will he do when you get married? No miscarriage. What else did he say? You will live. Please, can you? From now to the end of this year, God will confuse your enemies. God will confuse your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. As they are oppressing you and talking about you at your place of work, by the time you appear tomorrow, they'll be running away from you. If you say them and you are the one I just spoke to, just by serving God, you don't do any church a favor by serving God. Who gets this benefit now? English class here. He said, This is the heritage. Let us, give me other synonymous word. Let's take away this heritage. This is what? Huh? Somebody say benefit, eh? Come on, wake up, man. Come on. Take away heritage. This is what? Insurance policy. Eh? Insurance policy. Benefits. Bet rights. Thank you. Eh? What else? Inheritance. For what? Those that serve God. Look, you can fight. So we are not talking about blessing, blessing, blessing. You know people think that car is a blessing. Thank God for you. 
Some other people think that, you know, a house is a blessing. Thank God for you. Some people think that having money is a blessing. Thank God. It may be a blessing to your own understanding. But where we are talking about the blessings of the Lord, it goes beyond car. It goes beyond house. It goes beyond money. If you have house, you have car, you have money, and you don't have good health, are you blessed? Some of you, the way you look at the amount of money you have kept in 401k, you are arrogant. Amen. Amen. You say, Pastor, what is 10,000? Okay. If I had given that man 500, he could have been very happy. 1,000, he could have been very happy. Do you know what he would do to make 10,000? You shall serve me and I will bless you. Now, if you look at people, some people who don't have car, who don't have house, who don't have children, sometimes they feel they are not blessed. You are blessed. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I say you are what? Blessed. Now, how many of you this morning now has, what is that thing that they put inside? The tube that you are breathing? Anybody breathing through the tube? Say? In Job chapter 1 from verse 1 to 10, let us read it. Job chapter 1 from verse 1 to 10. Quickly please, I'll be finishing in the next 30 minutes. The Bible said that there was a man in the land of Uz. His name was what? Job. And that man was a perfect man. What else is his character? He said he was an upright man, one that feared God. And he have, are you with me? And the man has a very great house. So that this man was what? The greatest of all the men that lived. Thank God that came from East. In verse 4, he said that the sons of Job went and feasted in their houses. Everyone his day. Eh? Uh, everyone his day. And sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. Some of the enjoyment. Don't jealous them. When God bless you, you too do what? Enjoy. I've been telling never allow certain battles. If you don't stand up and fight it for your children, when your days and night is over, the kids grow up. You know what they'll be doing? Amen. Well, where are we now? Job chapter 1 verse 6 now. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan. Oh, I don't want to go to this scripture. The, not the sons of devil. The sons of God came to present themselves and Satan came to. You see, in churches this day, if I talk about this, you know my ministry. You will never be confused in life. Every time you see somebody confused, watch out, he's under the influence of the enemy. Going from to confusion. Today is an RN. Tomorrow is a nurse assistance. Next year is a barber. I was like that for eight years. God who showed me mercy will show you mercy. If I tell you the number of works I've done in this country, you will pity me. Until I, I heard God like this. And I went from wandering to become a wonder. I am his eminence, right, reverend, not only reverend, though, right, reverend. And there is nothing right about you. Right, reverend, doctor, what are they called? Honorable. Honorable. <laughs> you study title. One day my father told me, say, young man, title does not confer entitlements. That title does not what? It, Bishop Defino, he said, title doesn't confer entitlements. Now, now you, you call yourself, I don't, I'm not saying maybe some of you now, maybe tomorrow God will call you, you become Pope. No problem. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for you. But he said, have you considered my, have you considered my have you considered my? He said about their business, 
about their children. When I go to deal with them, I can't enter. I go to attack the wife, no way. I go to attack the children, no way. Because God, you have what? Made a hedge around them. Now, if you look at the next one, you say, Thou has, go ahead, blessed. May God bless the work of your hands. May God bless the work of your hands. No, you see, laboring and working is good, but you don't know anything until God blesses the He said now, he has brought, look, let me tell you, you see that things are getting tough now. Economy is shaking, dollar rising and falling. This shall be your best time in life. This shall be our best years in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. So why they are crying in this city that there is a casting down? Me and you will be saying, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, hear me this. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 18, very popular scripture here. Malachi 3 18. He said you will return and you will be able to identify the differences. The diff come back. I, I know they go anywhere for now. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Serve God not just with your skill. Also serve him with your money. The money you are making, who gave it to you? I've told you my testimony. When we are living in heaven, the first tax return, because before my wife came here and everything, I always file single. No, no, married filing single. No dependent. After they have collected all the tax, so I now file tax again. They give me maybe 700 some, at least I wasn't, I God gave it, gave them to you. I can make you fatherless in one day. One day, from that day. Amen. Nobody said amen. amen. <laughs> Praise God. You know, John chapter 12 verse 20 says, here we hear you the word of the Lord. He said, if any man serve me, <laughs> hello, let him do what? Follow me. If any man do what? Serve me. It's a choice is a choice. He say, if any man makes a choice to do what to serve me, let him follow me. He say, wherever I, Jesus, where I am, who else is allowed to be there? My bishop, my pastor, my apostle. It's a popular saying in Christianity that obedience is better than sacrifice. In Job chapter 36 verse 11, one of my very common scriptures here, Job 36 verse 11, what does he say? <coughs> if you Obey. What else? And serve me. What will happen? I will make you to spend your days. Where? 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 Somebody say, I cannot be poor. If you can't say it, you can't see it. Somebody say, I cannot be poor. So when people are talking, you know, somebody came to me one day, say, your father is over. You know, some people find prosperity. I'm keep telling you, you have not tasted it. If you taste prosperity, you'll be like, ah, I don't know, saying I saw the thing be. You will not be poor. You will not be poor in the name of Jesus Christ. He said they will spend their days where? In prosperity and the remaining years where? In pleasure. May the Lord allow you to spend your years where? In pleasure. In Genesis chapter 26, Hear what the word of the Lord said. He said, Abraham, Abraham, because you have done this thing, Genesis chapter 20, I mean, Je Genesis 36 from verse 11 beginning. Hmm? Genesis 26 verse 5, sorry. Genesis 26 verse 5. Adults, as a mother, as a father, that is equipping your children for generational blessing. I will make your seed to multiply the sons of the heaven and I will give unto thy seed all these countries and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. If you go back to verse 3, Genesis 26 verse 3, see what happened there. He said, sojourn in this land I will be with you. May God be with you in this land Lord. And we do all bless you. Please, put your Bible I'm done. Stand up, let us pray. Stand up. Say with me this. Because of who? Abraham. There are things you do, you don't know. You are qualifying your children for generational 
blessing. You know, you are used to generational cause, generational sickness, generational problem. This morning, I remove you from generational cause to generational blessings. This morning, I initiate you into generational blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen to me. I'm not saying, if you don't want to be pray this prayer, perhaps your life could have been different. Open your mouth, pray that prayer. God has given you children. Why don't you bless them? Why don't you pray for them? Why don't you initiate them into generational blessing? Why don't you usher them into another dimension of God's blessing that go from generation to generation? Pray that prayer. Pray for them. 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 God is not a partial God of this food. Generational blessing. Yeah, yeah, I give them food. I buy you iPad. I buy you iPhone. I give you money. I give you clothes. Yeah. Generational blessing. It shall come upon my children. Generational blessing. It shall come upon my children's children. Generational blessing. Everybody saw me when I called this young man, young lady out there. Eh? You will see. Now, because you came today, you go, go. Let me tell you something. Because you came. You know, he said that the coming of Jesus Christ will be like a thief. Some people don't know that I'm back. <laughs> uh -huh. You will see them. But you that came here, I want to tell you something. Find me that, that script, that video. Sometimes last year, I think it was on Wednesday, I was seated down here. I think another man of God was ministering. And I kept quiet. Please let us thank God for my pastor. He just walked in. Pastor John Abba. He went with me to Nigeria. He was in the inauguration. And he vowed five million to prophesy to you. She said no. I said, since I married you, have I ever called you openly to prophesy to you? She said no. I said, no. God that called me said to me that before May 2nd, 2024, your story will change. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. And she knelt down, I prayed for her. We got home. I didn't ask her. She went and packaged $1,000. Right here. I thank God I let Kabila is here today. Who were in secondary school. They finished secondary school. Started medical school. Finished medical school. Went for, what is the next one? Is it in something? And I'm working as doctor. And my wife still he, me and the prophet too, I prophesy to some of them I prophesy, they will come and you know, I think I know about two of them two medical students and my wife will be playing when they are sharing their thanksgiving but residents is almost amen <laughs> hey as a medical doctor now there is a hospital I think in Alabama, Alabama that she did not apply to they were now calling her begging her to come and take interview to become part of the resident students. When your time comes, I'm about to prophesy to somebody. When your season comes, I'm about to speak over somebody. I'm about to pray and prophesy now. Because some of you, you don't know what my wife has been going through. For This ministry will be 14 years in November. 14 years it has been pain. Pain in the sense that my wife does not want to do business. Pain in the sense that all she wants is her career. Sometimes I see her playing keyboard when people are testifying. They have passed anchors. She but today, God has taken away there is somebody under the sound of my voice if I be a man of God before November 28th, 2024 your testimony is here if you say that you are the one I'm prophesying to now the hand of God is upon me and my eyes are open and I see somebody before 28th of November 2024 that's long studied medicine my daughter wants to study medicine 
One that said to God, will my children grow up and meet my wife and be going to school and looking for residency together with my wife? Reproach. For he that is mighty, he that is mighty has done unto me great things. For the Lord, my God, has taken away. Reproach. That is somebody I'm about to pray for. I don't know how long your own has been. My wife's own is 14 years. Maybe your own is a year and four months. Maybe your own is five years. You are hearing me from wherever you are watching this service. As I lift my hand and I prophesy, if I be a prophet of God in the next 14 weeks from today, your testimony is here. I'm not ashamed to tell you. this. Year. Look, me, I told you I would be very rich. Oh. So if you don't like money, you got a problem, man. I ain't got no worry about you. Do you want to serve a poor pastor? If your pastor is poor, I think you know what you become. Eh? God has taken away my reproach. God has taken away my reproach. Year after year. Year after year. That is a particular exam that is very difficult to pass. It's, they call it, um, what do you call that exam, baby? Step what? USMLE. My wife took that exam. Called my wife on a private call and said, look, favor your testimony is captivating. You are resuming. Everything is wonderful. We would love to have you, but because of your year of graduation, you cannot practice medicine in America. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Tell me who has the final word in your life. Jehovah has the final say. He has turned my life around. the influence of this grace at work here. If God called me, it will not take 14 weeks, you'll be here to share your testimony. Now, I was in Nigeria, I got a phone call. I said, what is the matter? A young man came into this ministry some years ago. It was on the 31st of December, we are doing crossover night service. And I turned. And I, I know no sin, I saw you be I know no sin, I saw you be miracle walking God. I know no sin, I saw hey, you hey. be Jehovah Jireh. I know no sin, I saw you be marvelous Jehovah. I know no sin, I saw you be Jehovah Jireh. I know no sin, I saw you be. You are here, you know. Even if you come now and tell me that God is not real or that God is stupid or is fake, I will tell you you are right. My eyes take time. Look, do you know what it means? 14 years. 14 years. How old is my son? 14 years. Even Judah, that is seven years old, knows what is called marching. Marching, you know, when they're marching, that means they have, they have started raising. Judah. Wait. If you're here with a tight, please come. Let us close. But we're still going to dance. If you're angry after your tight and off, you can go. <laughs> Amen. It's 9.45. And we're closing. Sit down so you can write your check. Some of you that have not been tightened, God bless you. I'm back. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Pastor Demon used to give me details. I was in Nigeria. I said, Pastor, my tax return has come. That's okay. He said, I am paying 20%. I say, you. He said, yes. From Liberia, I won't mention them. Amen. You, you are struggling. Two people are now tightening 20%. You are struggling with 10. God shall bless me. Hey. He said he shall bless the works. Amen. 14 years you have never prayed for money in this church. How come? Will not last long. And this court case will end in your favor. They went for, is it preliminary hearing? Judge decided the case in the favor of our member. January 1st, 2024. Somebody approached me in my office, gave me 5,000 something. 5,000, I think 5,300 dollars. Bishop Chris, you were with me in my office. Five, the first 5,000 that came into my hand this year. I said to her, I need down. She knelt down. I said, What for? I said, My first fruit. Yeah, 1,800 dollars on arrival. And the person told me, Say, Pastor, you haven't seen any. He said, Before this week is over, I will send to you something that will make you scream. As you are priest, 
I speak over your tithes. As your priest, I speak over your business. As your Jesus name. Please drop your tithes on the offering. Those giving online, you are free to do that through cash up and through zeal. Hallelujah. Praise God. I have a lot of testimonies. A lot of things happened these few weeks that I was away. He humbled me. Praise God. My wife was begging me. Say, stay humble. Stay humble. I said, I can't change. I can't change. Her concern is that I should stay and remain humble. I said, I cannot change. But my God will suffer. You haven't seen anything. You, know? you have a guy blue passport. Great. <laughs> Henry went with me to Nigeria. When he got to Nigeria, he said, Pastor, some people are doing well here. I said, good. Now you know that they're doing well. Eh? Because you are here, you are eating bogan. Where's the other one that looks? Is it uh, that road one? What do you call it? Hot dog. You think everybody's suffering in Africa? Everybody's not suffering in. Some as you are there. Some people were as. <laughs> you were with me. Uh, when you see the way they follow me, they serve me there. Sometimes I don't feel like coming back, but I'm here because I know God wants me here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm an American citizen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Rise up to our feet. We have to close. Hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody say, I'm going somewhere. What are you talking about? Yeah. Amen. Men are makers. So I want you to start changing your mentality. You know, when dollar was one seven, I was telling you, to make investment. You were waiting for it to be 2,000. I think you know how much it is now. <laughs> Amen. Invest back home. Out of what you have given me, I've come to return in offering. Out of this offering, take away my suffering in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Invest to come for. Eh? You're going to Nigeria this year. Amen. Eh? Okay, I'll go. This year. Okay. And you will return. And if there is only one waiting for your arrival to hurt you, by the time before you buy your ticket and go, they will die. Amen. Men and brethren, I'm serving you amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If your amen can be more lively, it shall be very speedy. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. I am saying thank you. Father, thank you. Jehovah. Come on. Everybody. Come on. We are saying you pin me. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody say thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Ba 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 me look at Baba mi loke Baba 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 mi loke Baba Baba mi loke
are makers of men. I don't know where you are, but as the Lord liveth, wherever you are today, this will be the least level you will be. Your amen is not loud enough. There is somebody here. I'm hearing in my spirit. In the next 90 days, you are closing up on a house. Now, look, look, look. God is in here. There is somebody here. As the Lord liveth, hear me. In 90 days, you are moving into your own house. In the name of Jesus Christ. For me today, whatever you lay your hands shall prosper. The anointing that makes this work, this will work in your hand. Can I hear you say louder? Amen. God who took me from nowhere and made me somebody will change your story. God who blessed my family to the point now that me and my household were an envy. You shall become an envy. From where you come from, men will remember you. From where you come from, women will remember you. No matter wherever you are today, the level where you are now is the least level you ever be. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I bless your family. I bless your career. I bless your business. That amen from somebody I'm praying for. Whosoever is expecting you to be in the mortuary, we take your place and be in the mortuary. You will continue to be in the sanctuary. In the name of Jesus. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus Christ. Same God that provide and protect for me, provide and protect you. In Jesus' precious name. Say with me, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me and my family. We shall continue to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus' name. Let me tell your neighbor, say neighbor, the blessings of God is upon my life. Oh.